Welcome back to the Smokescreen Podcast, episode 66. I'm 66. sorry, I'm going in my radio. 67? Yep. Is it really? Yep. Wait a minute, I thought I just did the folder 66. Whatever episode we're on. That's um, what I wrote down anyway. Okay. I mean, that don't mean it's right. Yeah, I could I'm maybe I'm 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 confused. Look, we're getting so many now, we, we can't are. keep up. It's not like us. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're back with another uh, House of the Dragon reaction, episode four, The King of the Narrow Sea. So excited. I know uh, James did not cheat. I did ask him again right before he came on because I know he was probably itching. I was. I'm, I'm being good. <laughs> but uh, we were going to skip one and do um, you know, another podcast like on um, Gypsy Rose, mm -hmm. who got out of prison recently. We talked about that. We thought we did a podcast on it, and we never did. We just got into it years ago. She was the girl with, you know, Munchausen by proxy and her mom, death, the whole thing. So we'll, we'll talk about that, I'm sure. Um, the other thing was, uh, what is it, Mother God, uh, Love is One. Love is documentary One, Documentary yep. we watched. Insane cult thing. We've done cults before. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. But I didn't think I was going to like it as much I, as I actually same, did. Same here. Uh, like you said, it got it got better and more. It's almost, um, almost approached the level of Tiger King crazy. Yeah. I think that reminded me of Tiger King a lot, but uh, we decided, um, bef you know, before we get started, and I'll put timestamps in the video for YouTube listeners, obviously. And again, if you're listening on audio platforms, probably better to watch this one on YouTube um, since we're reacting and and talk about it after. But um, we decided to stick with House of Dragon for now. We have a uh, want to talk about a, a f dear friend of ours in this channel and this community for that matter, um, yes. who we we've recently lost and. You know, I didn't want to say anything until all this happened and whatever, but I've told a couple people, you know, kind of close to the family or whatever. But uh, we lost a good friend and supporter of this channel, longtime supporter of this channel, uh, Carol Brown. Diva. Um, really, really heartbroken about it. It's uh, pitiful. It's 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 horrible. It's hard to hard to digest this. It really is. I've been thinking about it every day, and uh, she was our first moderator really i mean we had one before that it was kind of off and on but carol was around from early days back in the old game of thrones days and even um before the live streams and then she became a moderator and she was the one who we went live on episode one of season seven and we thought we'd have a you know a couple hundred people yeah <laughs> we ended up having five six thousand people in a live stream and carol was the only mod uh, which was insane. She told that story. And I, I wore this shirt. This is our protocon shirt from 2019. Yeah. And Carol really uh, took control and, and of that and, and put it together for us and helped us out in so many ways. And that was a fun weekend. But uh, it's just really sad. I just talked to her three, four weeks ago, um, talked on the phone. We talked often, or not all, probably once a month or so for a couple hours a month, uh, every once in a while. But we stayed in touch all these years. And, um, you know, yeah. she got this horrible diagnosis. I won't get into all the details, but it just came so fast, man. And I've thought so much, you know, since you you gave me the news, yeah, uh, about when she came and hung out with us and cooked for us and everything. Yeah, I mean, man. She 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 was she, a real friend. She really was. She came to town. We were planning protocon. And we were scouting out locations. She came over and she went to the grocery store and spent, I know, a ton of money. I can't even imagine. And just cooked a huge meal. And James and I ate on it for a week after. Yeah, at I least. Mean, it was huge. I, I know. I mean, from scratch, scratch. It was it um, was as big as any Thanksgiving dinner you could ever imagine. Absolutely. And it just you know, two of us it, it after was. she left. We on it, ate on that for a while, but... Um, just a, a shout out to Carol Brown and her family. I know her nieces and nephews. I don't know if they're aware of us or not. I don't know how much she talked about, you know, the smoke screen family and all that stuff. But, you know, again, I know I also reached out to um, Robert from Indie Geek. I know that she was friends with them and some other people. Uh, Kyle, I believe, as well. Um, yeah. So just uh, just a, it's just a horrible thing. Um, I don't understand bad things happening to good people a lot of times. This hit you really close to home it, it, uh, it really did you know i mean in your life you've you yeah. dealt with this uh very similar thing very similar yep and uh you know luckily i i've you know 
my uncle, that was the first experience I've yeah. ever had dealing with it. And, and right. the suddenness and the speed with which things can happen. Right. It, it just leaves everybody, uh, kind of shocked. It really, and, it's really, it is a shock thing. Um, and, and shout out to Jennifer, her monster highness as well. An old school, uh, friend of ours as well. She, she flew out and saw her the last few days um, and uh, kept me up to date because Carol stopped responding, you know, and I knew I was obviously really worried then. But, you know, it was just a whole bad feeling about the whole thing. Once I When I talked to her, she she was really upbeat and ready to fight and all this stuff, and it was just it was just too late, man, you know, when they called it. And Anyway. Um, well, I, uh, I, I, you know, it's hard for me to, you know, there, there hasn't been a, you know, bigger supporter of of yeah. me, no, 100%, you know, yeah. of us, but uh, I mean, she she would crack a whip in a heartbeat, yeah, uh, to say, you know, that's not what you said you were gonna do. It's not what you planned. I know I disappointed that woman, drove her crazy, probably <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> a lot, yeah, yeah. Um, but she cared about me and and cared about the things I was doing, just as she did us, you know. And yeah. uh, I mean, I I'll never forget the first time we met her. Yeah. You know, um, how cool that was, how really excited cool. we were, you know, when we, when we left meeting her, we were like, it's really cool. We finally got to right. meet her and hang out yeah, with her. First she's everything we thought she'd be. Yeah. Know. I mean, and she, she bought me this, you know, we got ice back here. I think that was her who bought that. And I just came back and there it was at the, at the booth, you know, just, she just, you know, she was there from the get go and um, part of the family helped us out a lot. A lot of uh, advice over the years, mm -hmm. just kind of behind the scenes. She was part of our little small council on Patreon and, you know, we, we stayed in touch all these years, even after Game of Thrones kind of faded away and we just, you know, got a lot of advice and, and talks and about any, anything and everything. So she just, was uh, just brilliant. horrible. Yes. She was a very talented musician. Yes. You know, um, just a well-rounded person like uh, that's what was cool about hanging out with her is you could talk about almost anything yeah. and she had some knowledge and was able to you know just uh i don't know hang in there and no matter what i was talking about sports you know yeah. she took me to that game uh, yeah she was birthday. a huge baseball fan with all the i'll never games, forget that you yeah. know she was yeah. like I'm, there's a she's like there's a nolan run statue here you know right. you gotta see and right. i was so amped to see it and everything it was just She's one of a kind, and uh, it's just hard to it's hard to fathom. It really is. It's really odd. I keep looking um, on my phone for a, re a reply, you know, uh, and it's just not coming. It's it's still weird. But uh, anyway, so not to keep it all down, but, you know, we decided, okay, you know, she was enjoying these, and, you know, obviously huge House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones, just nerd in general, like the rest yeah. of us. And so we said, let's just keep going with this for now. Uh, they're doing really well, and uh, she would enjoy it. So um, we'll do this one for Carol. So anyway, all right, quick recap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so let's see. We've seen, this is episode four, King in the Nearest Sea. Mm -hmm. We saw Damon last episode uh, go uh, almost out with a bang, but he survived. Dude. And uh, got the crab feeder there with a the little trap he set uh, because his brother finally acknowledged his war for a couple of years and, mm -hmm. you know, sent him a letter and wanted to send help. All of a sudden, he was like, nope, nope, we're going to win this motherfucker without you. Yeah. So he rushed in with the help of, you know, Lainor and, and um, uh, Corliss Valarion and all them um, and essentially won the war in the Stepstones. Um, before that, obviously, we had Aegon is now born. He was two in last episode. Yeah. She was pregnant with Aemond. Uh, not yet born. We'll probably see that this episode. I thought there for a second he was doing like a spite surrender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that you said, is he going to surrender? I'm sitting there going, don't say I anything. Know, don't say anything, man. <laughs> I, I was like, he's right. really pissed that his brother did this. Right, he said he's right. going to come help, so he's going to go, go ahead and surrender. Right, man. So, that was a cool move. It really was. Drew him out. Drew him out, and then sea smoke came by, and boom. And so anyway. I think uh, so. We got got the tension started between obviously Renera was there and she's trying to be married mm -hmm. off and she ain't having it. She wants to marry who she wants to marry, and her father Viserys is trying to please everybody. That'll be an ongoing thing, you know, trying to keep the family together and all that stuff. And then, but he did say in the last episode, "Look, just go pick somebody, whoever you love," and that's what she plans to do. But she is still there. 
He said, I will not change that. It doesn't matter that I have a son now. I was wrong about the dream and all that stuff because he does have dragon dreams, apparently. So, anyway, I think that was uh, that about recaps it. I think so. Uh, if I can get this thing going again, maybe this yeah. mouse uh, always does this. Here we go. Episode four, King of the Narrow Sea. You got me scared about that. <laughs> that that's going to go away. Not as oh, max I know. only. I don't think the sound will. I don't know. Maybe it changes to max. I think they'll keep it. I think they'll keep the original. They'll still, they still own the rights, you know. I don't think why they change it. Because of the apps and all that, it's changed to max, right? I don't think it says HBO anymore. I don't think it does either. You're right. Definitely seeing uh, here in a few months, actually, I guess. <clears throat> I'm still thinking about Carol not getting to see us hit 100K. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. And we're... Well, yeah, actually, let's... Before we start this, let me say that real quick. You know, we're the podcast is blowing up, and we're we're doing the ads that we decided to try this new promotions tab on YouTube, and it's really doing well. And you know, she knew from the early on, man, that that was just a you know, it's just a number, but it's a goal. It's everybody's goal when you start That's YouTube right. and you get serious about it. That 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 silver play button, you know, and it's fairly we've only talked about it a thousand thousands times. of times. And I, I really, it's kind of bittersweet. I was I was telling that to you yes earlier today. It's like it's not long, it's not far off now mm -hmm. if it keeps going like it's going, and she's not going to get to see it, man, because we're gonna. We're gonna get that thing in the mail, and we'll do a live stream or something. Unbox it when it comes, whatever it is, and you know, I know it just it kind of breaks my heart. It it is one it's of those crazy. bittersweet things. Like you know, it's finally this goal that you wanted to achieve, and, and you know, she's not here to see it. But you know. oh, they're about to start filming Duncan Egg. Speaking of uh, George R. R. Martin, Ryan. Spring. Ooh. We're gonna start filming first Dunkin' Egg. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get a drink of water. <laughs> Little parts there, sir. Century ago, princess. Yes, it was. Damn, that's real. Oh, no. It's unseemly for him to put himself forward as a contender. <laughs> Fuck out. <laughs> that was a good way to do it. And now a child. <laughs> the black ones. <laughs> black wow. ones. Oh, yes. Yeah, Once ruled as kings. Blood of the first man still flows in their The veins. black ones and the brackens. Big, big story in Ice and Fire. My princess. Art is a bond that has as a dragon, you dumb cunt. Ridiculous <laughs> 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 pageant. Mm. See ya. That's what he got. <laughs> Run that mouth. <laughs> Jesus. Damn. Yeah, that's a little uh, little shout out to that little ongoing war. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> <laughs> I 
little flyby by Damon. That's freaking nuts, man. It's been like three years since Damon's been in King's Landing, I believe, at this point. Something like that. Okay. She's going to pick Damon. <laughs> Notice his crown. <laughs> Short hair. Add it to the chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thousand dead triarchy corsairs state to the sand to walk. <laughs> 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 that was a little, little close to home there, wasn't it? Mm hmm. A Brazilis or his diare is us. Did he let? <laughs> so that's Helena. Cool room. Yeah, no TV. <laughs> Ooh. Varys used to use these or will use these there you go yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot this is a prequel <laughs> they never showed any though you know this is I know. This is cool this is really cool But who lights the brassiers? Yeah, I was thinking the, the same thing. The secret passes. See, there you go. Arya took that, right? <laughs> Going to live a little. Yeah, he's taking her out to see the real world. He called me boy. It's that little Arya vibe you talked about last week. Yup. Oh, hell no. Iron chair. <laughs> and who's bum? <laughs> <laughs> Names his daughter. A girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is very similar to Aria, right? It really, the, really I is. Watching the play. Mm hmm. Just a few 
a small phone. Stop, boy! Wait, I'll find him. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to steal. She used to just getting everything. Everything, just pick it right off the tray. I like this cutting back and forth here too. He's out there being wild and living. The hour is quite late. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, in the bricks. <laughs> and look at the murals, the tapestries. I'm sorry. Those are sexual. They're all like Kama Sutra <laughs> style. Why did he decorate that place like that? Oh my God! <laughs> oh no, my. Mm. How, there's how do you how do you keep going and she's looking like that? Mm, 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 mm. He's grooming her. Mm. You see? It's like a woman again. Man, you know that place smells oh rank. Oh, God. Mm. He's basically trying to tell her, like, look, you, this is not what it's all about right here. It's just duty. Hmm. Maybe he's having some anxiety. Yeah, I think so. He he's like, <laughs> yeah, how the hell did you did, come in? Did I see you come in earlier? I should have let the Lord Commander. Mm -mm. She got all worked up. Yep. This scene's pretty controversial, actually, I think, in the fandom, because she's in a position of power. And what's he supposed to do? Mm. Hmm. You know, he swore an oath. Yeah. <laughs> In this situation, I, I don't think the power dynamic would pay it play as big a role as it as it would if they hadn't have almost come up together uh the way they did yeah her in the role she's assumed now and then her choosing him i don't know yeah this this stirred some pretty good debates on i get twitter it, but I, I just i don't know yeah, it's, uh, I can see it both ways. I guess the the thing was, could he really consent? You know, is what the thing. Oh, I of course, yeah, was. yeah. I, I yeah. think they have the kind of relationship where he can. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think. Their relationship falls into this that same category. <laughs> Mm. 
because they legit like bullshit with each other and when they're hanging out and yeah. stuff. It's not all formal, and then all of a sudden she makes him screw her. But what if he said no? He said nope. Took a bow. Can't go all straight out the door. Oh, I don't think there's any. Danger. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't she, think you get demoted. Or, yeah, I don't think she'd do anything either. That was just, just her, the question. Mm-hmm. One of the questions. And that's strictly based off of her as a character. Like we've seen other characters that I would say, no, I don't think he could say no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just think she's kind of cool. Danny and John. Spies everywhere. I'm not so common. <laughs> I'm not so common. No. <laughs> Behind, I learned that the skin tray could only take me so far. You never were one to stay idle. So, so is that you. him? Yep. Hard lessons are not well. Now she's in the information game. Very chamber, accusing my daughter of something. Now speak it. <laughs> <laughs> Damon and Rhaenyra were seen together. <laughs> uh oh. My daughter starved, spied upon. I love it. Mm-hmm. To destroy her reputation. I have no such uh-huh. intent. Uh-huh. Your designs are obvious. Is it? You Targaryens do have queer customs. <laughs> oh. No limit. Alison, your grace, sister, you must know I would... To question my virtue is an act of treason. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you did not. Mm. <laughs> you refute her. Why is she so deeply I hurt by it? it? I know. I sh- you would love her. But you would have. Mm-hmm. And then you did. Where your virtue could even come into question. Mm-mm-mm. Now, um, <laughs> the dude that she did sleep with is going to hear the rumor and be all hurt. I need to understand the charms before. <laughs> As a woman grown, better her first experience be with me than some whore. See, he, that's what's crazy. Don't deny it, even though he didn't. Oh my god. What lord will wed her now in this condition? Who gives a fuck what some lord thinks? As you wish, right? By not denying it, he really puts her in a bad spot yeah. with her dad. Yeah, that really pisses me off. <laughs> he 
You think you talked to her, to her about it? Mm-hmm. Have you spoken to her? Oh my God! <laughs> Are they gonna have some maester tester no. and find out that her <laughs> hymen's been broken? And no, I don't think so. But that would not be out of the question in those days. I want to say that he threatens it, I believe. It would be for that. That is difficult to know. Eventually, Littlefinger gets his <laughs> hands on it. Before Edom's death. And his will be the song of ice and fire. <laughs> Responsibility I have handed to you. It is larger than the throne. That's really cool. The king. It is larger than the only perception. Well, that is true. You That's have exposed right. yourself. Now we must both suffer the But I want it. I could father a dozen bastards, and no one in your But you were born a woman. <laughs> Soon strip me of my time. The sea snake. So I can be a remedy for your political mm -hmm. hates. The worst of my grief. She was a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> I only now realize how well calculated mm -hmm. it was. But I can no longer trust your judgment. Big moves. Big plans. Big plans. Big plans. <laughs> Man. Um. I can't believe I held off watching this for so long. I hope you can forgive the late hour. Oh, I forgot about this scene. I took great. Sorry, what's a gift from Otto Hightower? A tea, Princess. It will rid you of any unwanted moon tea. Oh. In case she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, man. I know. Not as not enough not a lot of action that episode, but a lot of uh action. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's getting deep, man. So what you think? What you think? It is getting deep. I uh I don't know. I I'll tell you when it hit me when I said uh she's going to choose Damon or yeah. whatever. Yeah. I started, you know, just seeing that look in her eye again. Yeah, and yeah. She's always been smitten with him to some degree. Mm -hmm. And then I guess it waned a little bit over the years as he was gone. But then he came back and turned her on again, I guess. And he's no, I don't know if he's any any better than uh, Otto Hightower. Yeah. As far as, I don't know that <clears throat> he necessarily cares about being with her other than like um like mm. he was saying to him is like you know I think he, he just does. wants the throne I think he does you think he I, yeah does I don't want like to say I don't want to say much but I think, care about her I mean more I think, than I think he does okay now he's still crazy um, yeah but I don't want to say anything because no, you know, obviously you'll see stuff later but and uh, I do think he does to some degree I think he's conflicted about everything like everybody in this damn show mm -hmm. yeah I mean he does of course, as aspiration for the throne, but I don't. I don't think it's just that. And you'll see that. And coming. you'll see stuff coming. Yeah, he. I don't know. He he just he has a huge ego. He does. You 100%. know. Um. I don't know. But what man. I like about him though is you know, 
Like he does some shitty stuff. That any more, he's gonna do more shitty stuff, as you'll see. But he's he's grounded though. He, you mm-hmm. know, like he showed her that night. But look, this is the real world. Yeah, you're in your I, little I really bubble in the, in the castle, that. and here's what real people go through and how they live and whatever. And kind of taught her a big lesson there, like when they were look, watching the play. Yeah, because yeah. like, look, even with the sex stuff in the brothel, oh. like. You know, you it doesn't matter who you marry. You can you can fuck who you want. Basically, mm-hmm. what he was saying. People do this for pleasure. You don't have to be a child machine. Yeah. You know, like she's got this. They showed Allison at the same time as like what she thought it's going to be like, and it doesn't have to be that way, especially being royal. Yeah. So then, of course, she goes back and oh well, I can screw this other hot guy that guards yeah. me that I've had a crush on since I saw him. But again, that is almost. That is what you have to be as a child machine if you want to keep the yeah yeah no sure yeah you know there's a there, I mean there's a balance like everything mm-hmm. there's a balance with duty and yeah and then her him saying look you know you better care what they think about if you're gonna rule them that's you right. know uh, I think I that's think a good I think that's that. a good lesson yeah you know because she had that attitude like it doesn't matter what they think yes it, it absolutely matters what they think that was a very immature thought mm-hmm. and he's like wait a minute yeah but. I don't know, man. So I think in that sense of as crazy as it was, and then he kind of, they kind of make out, and he just kind of leaves her there. And again, was what was that? Was that what was he frustrated about? Was he was he having a little anxiety there and couldn't get it the the work? See, or because that was the thing with Masaria before, right? He's that, got this anxiety occasionally. That could have been, you know, that could be it. A, a, a telltale sign that he really does think See, of her right that that's way. the way I, that's true that's the way i took that like he's not going to end up he's not going to do that tour mm-hmm. as he, he had a second thoughts right there in the heat of things right and walked away frustrated that's Man. the way i took that and then i think later episodes will confirm that without saying anything well should should the king have sent otto away uh, if he was going to strip him of that title, yeah, he does. He says he sends him back to Old Town. Okay, yeah, he does. He doesn't stay there. Okay, he can't. He don't allow him to stay. So Good. You'll see that next. But Good because because the I next don't one will be trust him to still be there. Yeah, the next one is the I believe. Yeah, because this is four, four. Yeah, the next one will be the last one with these characters. We're going to get a big time jump after that. Okay, so yeah, he sends Otto back to uh, Old Town. For sure, and yeah, he he should have picked. You know, we all saw that as the audience, right? It's easy to sit here and arm and armchair quarterback it. But, yeah, that's right. You know, he he saw the calculated move and all this stuff. But the what makes that cool is he realized it after talking to Renier, which he should have been doing the whole time. Mm-hmm. And he keeps kind of they keep like making up, and then they have a little separation yeah. for a while, and they lose touch and whatever, and then they have this these meetings and stuff in it brings everything back perspective and then he realized wait a minute yeah Allison was a distraction yeah and it was f- for your gain you know and she's clearly as we've seen like some she she cares for him like almost like a nurse at a nursing home yeah. would care for somebody yeah she yeah. can tell she has a heart but sure she's not into him at all no she's She's and that cut deep when Renera said that when they were sitting in the in the God's eye, right? It was uh in the God's wood, I mean, you know, she said something like just sitting there doing my duty, pumping out kids, and that hit her hard because that's what she's been doing. Three now. She's on you know, now she just had her third child, Helena. And then they showed that scene coinciding mm. while she's out having a blast and she's laying there, you know, Absolutely. The king I mean, called for the you. King requested oh, your presence. Oh, yeah. Oh, and she's shit. just laying there again, like miserable. Mm-hmm. But I think she does, you know, because um, you'll see a lot of, um, especially in the next half of the season when the re- split really starts to happen, and you kind of start to see these parties form. You know, you, you really both sides are horrible and good. You know, both sides have their points. You know what I mean? But you see her; she does care for him. But, you know, she was forced into this, essentially. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of what this whole thing was about as far as, you know, women in that era of, um, you know, the medieval era, I guess. But, I mean, it's a, it's a tough position. You can see the, um, they all have uh, – they're all very gray, you know, character. That's what's yeah. great about them. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I yeah. like that, too. 
There's no like, um, like I mean, clearly you have your favorites. I, I still, lo I love Damon as a character. Either way, he does some horrible shit. You have to admit, you can't just when it goes into the full blacks versus greens later on. You, you know, a lot of people pull for the blacks, and a few people pull for the greens, but they both have their points, and they both have good people and horrible people, and this one makes this story so interesting. Hmm. Uh, and so you know, it's kind of like Game of Thrones. Remember, you hated Jamie Lannister. Yeah, and then you love Jamie Lannister. Then you, you loved know? him, yes. And that'll happen here to some of these people. You like them both, and you like both both sides to some degree, and they're both wrong and they're both right, you know. But it's really um, it's really a deep political show, as opposed to just you know there will be a lot of dragon stuff obviously coming, but yeah. Really good. It's really I'm good. It's, I mean, it. I'm enjoying it the second time. I didn't. Um, I watched. This is the second time I've seen it. Only even though we did the, the I did the videos and live streams, but it's cool seeing it again. It's uh, it's much better than I remember. It is really good. Like I said, I, I can't believe I stayed away so long. Yeah. Well, it's, now you're half caught up, and then yeah. we uh, we got five more to go. Be a and trip then, to be. Oh, I'm sorry, six caught more to up. Go. Yeah, that's going to be a trip. Six more to go on this, and then, you know, I think it said summer. We don't know. Season two in the summer. So Very about cool. probably six months or so, yeah. maybe five. Cool. Whatever summer means. Gives us, gives us time to go back and watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, you want to watch yeah. Game of Thrones again, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think uh, that's what I wanted to mention. Somebody said uh, we just had a comment earlier, and it, what did it say? Um, uh, it was a great comment on one of our your last re reaction. When we were talking oh, yeah. about, would you recommend Game of Thrones? You know, how it ended, if, if you didn't like it. Because some people liked it, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But would you recommend it? Yeah, you would. You got to. And the, and the girl to. said in the comment, it's kind of like a, a breakup with an ex. You kind of you, you talk to him again after three or four years. You realize, yeah. you know, it ended badly, but you can be friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's right. Thing. That was a good way to put it. It really was. Yeah. But... Yeah, there. You, you see, and now you can see really, you can see even more little parallels that they drew with uh, the show. You got, you know, yes. Rhaenyra and Arya are so similar. They are. They even used some of those lines and called her a boy because she hit her hair and all that stuff. And that was a big thing with Arya. That was cool. Calling her a boy. They all called her a boy in uh, King's Landing <laughs> after they cut her hair off. <laughs> so you were right. You were dead on when you said, I see Arya in her. <laughs> Damn right. And then she held that dagger. And I was like, Damn. But yeah, I mean, you know, she lied though. You know, so you can't just say like, even though I am more a uh, team black when it comes to the whole thing we'll get into later, Renera still she can lie too. And was that a scene where if you get the blade red hot, it mm -hmm. shows a message? That, that, that was that's hey, how that's cool is straight, that? That's taken straight from Lord of the Rings. Wow, the one ring. I mean, I just I never I didn't think about that before. I mean. It seems to be, you know what I mean? You, you get the ring hot and fire, and then you see the Elvish on there. Okay. You know, one ring to rule them all. Um, but, yeah, I like how they're tying in the dagger. Um, it doesn't fix, to me, Arya killing the Night King in that weird one, one battle showdown for all that. All this is building it up. Like, this is building up and reinforcing all that, right? Yeah. It's reinforcing the whole, you know, Game of Thrones. The real thing in the background is what's the, what we need to worry about. Not all the houses... You know, warring with each other. It's the White Walkers. They're coming, and then just to end like that in one night, like it wasn't shit. And then Jon Snow had nothing to do with it, and it <sighs> just had to be that dagger because Bran uh. gave it to Arya. But they, they, I like how they did go back and make that dagger. You know, it was Aegon the Conqueror's and his father Aenys before him. I'm sorry, Aenys after him, and all on down. And, and every heir passes the secret down. Uh, whatever that is, they don't even know what it is, but they just know that Targaryens have to be in power. Wow. And that's, and that's it. And so it's a big... Uh, so it makes you even feel more for Viserys because it's not... It's the weight of the world on his shoulders he feels like. Yeah. And he don't know if it's true. coming in his lifetime. Dude, that's true. You know? So it's not just about being king and kind of making everybody happy as far as the realm. It's like the future of the fucking world because that's what wow. he was told. Wow. You know, with that dagger. And the little secret message hidden in it. So I thought that was a cool little touch. That is, man. That was a good way to start that conversation, too, to make her realize just how important he's not just ragging on her because she's a girl. Yes. It's like you have a big responsibility coming. I like that. So you got to get ready for it. So anyway, good questions? No. Nope. Concerns? Good. Comments? <laughs> 
Comments. Yeah, that I I saw on the teaser that uh you know, they said the king is dying. And uh Yeah. So evidently that shit's just getting worse and worse. Yeah, whatever that weird thing is. Again, they changed that too, but I like that change. Um it makes it more urgent. It like I said before. It feels like you're up against the clock. You got to get some stuff done because he's oh, yeah. like the only one right now holding it together, right? Man. You know, and you'll see that even more in the next uh, half of the season for sure. But anyway, very cool. I love it. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if uh, if you want to hold off, if you can hold off to do I'll, another one I'll next do my week best. or if you want to skip one and do another. I'll let you know. Another thing, we'll figure it out. But either way, we'll we'll keep it going. I keep looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, glad you didn't. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy watching you watch it, man. I really yeah, do. same. And even though I'm quiet and everything, I'm taking it all in. Yeah, yeah. I'm still trying to, you know, remember everybody's names and everything. I'm getting better. <laughs> right. Like I, as they talk, I'm, yeah. I'm right with them pretty much. And then, you know, like I said, there'll be a few more. Obviously, well, a lot more when these mm-hmm. kids come of age. They'll yes. have a big role, so you'll learn some more. But you, you know, as of now, you have the same characters you know, right? And so far, you got Aegon. You got Eamon and now Helena. That's the new three kids of the king. Okay. And, uh, and Allison. So that's the new ones so far. And then, you know, Renera may have some kids later. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And that's a big important thing, too. Again, I'm not going to say anything to spoil anything, but. Yeah. So you've got to get to know the kids for sure. Yeah. Did you see what I was saying, you know, when. Uh, they were having sex. It did. It was like Jon Snow and Danny with yes. the dark hair and the blonde yeah, hair yeah, and everything. For sure. Um, yep. But he seems like a good dude too. Uh, tough situation he's in. And yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Probably only going to get tougher. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt, but yeah, that was. Uh, I just remember when that came out. That was a big and probably still is. On I could Twitter, see that. Yeah. You know, a big discussion about you know he's in that position as somebody as an underling. She's the princess. Mm-hmm. Can he, even though he like physically can, you know, can he consent to that? That was the big argument. And, you know, the, the power dynamic there makes mm-hmm. it where he can't really, people think there's one side and the other side says, yes, they can. Like, kind of like you said, they're, they're kind of friends. Yeah. That, if it they, started differently, yeah, I could right. see that. So yeah, they're, yeah, obviously they're two grown ass people physically can consent but mm-hmm. in his mind did he, 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 right. did he really have a choice is, right. is the question and you know i see both sides of the argument but that's what's cool about the story man it, it goes into those kind of deeper um questions about things in that time period so i'm digging it i can't wait all righty well we're good yes sir all righty well we'll wrap it up and uh we'll catch you next week with episode five I guess, or whatever we do. Mm-hmm. Maybe you maybe you cheat and skip one. We'll see. <laughs> Either way, we'll uh, get out of here. And uh, uh, thanks for everybody for watching. Do Thank us a you. favor if you made it this far. Thanks for watching and uh, hit that subscribe button. We're getting close, man. Getting, getting really close. close. And I uh, appreciate all the support. But we'll uh, get out of here and let it fade to black.